Wah, 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 wah. Um, this is what <laughs> happened to my secondary camera. This is not my primary camera. This is my Sony Nex VG30 camera, uh, which I often use for my like uh, mailbag stuff, my talking head mailbag videos. And yeah, the um, microphone is not supposed to be pointing down like that. <laughs> there was a tragic lab accident that uh, caused this. I'll let you figure that out for yourself. And that's not the only issue. The screen here is a bit how you're doing. Look at that. Uh, doesn't close, sometimes doesn't close properly. But I had this problem before. There, it turns out that there's a little sort of like flappy thing in there that gets in the way sometimes and I've had it where it wouldn't close before but now it's a bit loosey-goosey look at that but it um, it does still work like the screen still works no problems whatsoever and the lens seems to be intact this is one of my lenses here but it, it seems okay and it and it focuses okay it seems to you whack it in auto mode and it seems to Seems to be hunky-dory, so I think the lens uh, survived intact. But this isn't the first time that this uh, camera has copped some abuse, but this is the first time it's been damaged like that. So, yeah. And, as you can see, there is no audio. The audio is not coming through. Check, check. One, two. It ain't coming through. So the mics are broken on this puppy. So I'm going to have to try and take this top section apart and see what's what. For those who don't know, this is one of Sony's uh, removable lens cameras, it uses the E-mount. So there you go, there's the APS-C size sensor inside there and it, it's a very nice camera, but it's not, the reason I don't use it as a primary camera is because, well, one, it's got the dicky little uh, like stereo, like a, a five channel stereo indicator, doesn't have a audio indicator, doesn't have a proper VU meter. There's a couple of other, it does, it has weird things like if you turn on uh, certain modes, it disables face tracking and stuff like that. And I use face tracking all the time for my talking headshots and it's just, yeah, a few little touches mean this is annoying to use as a video blogging camera but um i still use this as a like a secondary uh like and if i go on site i would use this as like a secondary b-roll camera or something like that so i definitely want to get it working again but so i'm guessing that uh you know some of the wiring's just pulled out in there or something like that so let's have a squiz okay on the top here we have a cold shoe mount like that it's called a cold shoe because it's got no uh, power or any other interconnects and one hot shoe attachment and you can see the contacts down in there they're all different it's a sony uh, proprietary thing i don't think there's any industry standard for hot shoes is there there are uh, so two screws there one screw there and this lifts off that's very nice excellent and yeah we can yeah the bottom of the plastic along here is cracked so and that's the external uh, microphone input got some flat flex happening down in there and of course the viewfinder i never use these viewfinders i just like <laughs> absolutely no point um having these i know some people use them because in the field they're easier to see but anyway let's is that what's going on there not quite sure maybe that's all ribbon connected i thought there might have been some wires in there but that should be Okay, maybe, hopefully, just the ribbons come out. Because I don't mind the mechanical damage. I can push that back in and sort of, you know, glue all that back together. Um, it was the connections. I thought there would have been maybe some uh, coaxes, shielded coaxes, little micro coaxes going over there. But obviously not. Got a ribbon, so that's all right. I'll try and get the rest of this apart. Yeah, that just fell directly out of there. So I think the ribbons just come off. That's good. Should be able to just whack that on, and my microphone should still work again. Obviously, it bent some metal work there, so I can just bash that back into place. Is that that almost looks like one of those uh, magnesium alloys, doesn't it? Uh, you know, if you want to test that, you can actually scrape some of that off and uh, light it up and see if it uh, goes up like oh, it doesn't quite go up like like pure magnesium. But uh, I believe that's one way to test it. So yeah, that metal works fixable. No worries, we can get that done. And 
let's, yeah, put it back together. This could be easy peasy. Okay, get those screws off there, fold back the hot shoe, and ta-da, that is our mic. The board still looks good. It doesn't have any of your, uh, like, uh, like the flippy bar to hold that in. So it looks like it just pulled out. So it looks like that's just a, a friction fit back into there. Let's grab some long nose pliers. I should be able to force that back in there. For those playing along at home, I want to see the microphone board. There you go. But uh, yeah, they've got those, you know, weird ass SMD codes. But there you have it. But anyway, that's supposed to be like a five channel driver thing because this has got one of those, you know, weird ass uh, stereo surround head things. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want one of these things for atmospheric stereo surround you know i guess when this came out you know five and one channel uh and all that sort of stuff was all the rage i guess but meh anyway i'm gonna let's open this up shall we while we're here and uh just have a look uh, at the uh, capsules inside this thing there we go that's interesting look at these rubber baby buggy bumpers in there as you'd expect to uh, isolate the handling noise of the actual capsule. The capsules look, well, they must be tiny little uh, electric mic inserts. They're not like big uh, condenser capsules or anything, so don't get too excited, but nice little way they've fanned out the flat flex there to go over to each one. That's very nice. Instead of doing the, um, like, you know, little hand soldering coaxes or something like that, that's pretty neat. And as it turns out, all your preamp stuff is actually in here because it didn't make sense to have it go across the ribbon. And there's no screening on that, by the way. There's no nickel screening on that. That's just uh, plastic, so it's not completely shielded. It's a bit, meh, it's a bit how you're doing, but anyway, nice little construction. There you have it. There's a little capsule inside there. It's so just a little electric mic insert. No wackers, you know, it's not going to set the world on fire. It's not exactly the world's best uh, shotgun. Well, it's, you know, it looks like a shotgun mic because if it's like it's sitting on top of the camera and it's long, but it doesn't have the uh, shotgun construction of the long barrel. These are just electric mic inserts, just like you'd have on the top of uh, any regular camera. So, yeah, um, nothing special about this. And if you want to know what camera I'm shooting on at the moment, by the way, it's a Sony NX80, so it doesn't have the uh, interchangeable lens cameras. I've also got a Sony uh, Alpha 6300 as well, which uses the same E-mount lenses. I've also got a Sony um, RX100 uh, Mark IV, which is a little compact one, which I just carry around everywhere, and that's sort of my like little backup camera. And I shot a few uh, main uh, blogs on that out in the field and stuff like that. So I have standard I've gone away from uh, Canon quite a few years ago and I've standardized on the Sony cameras and as I said this isn't like the it has a few niggles this camera like the color balancing in this one isn't as good as my NX80 when I'm shooting like my whiteboard or even my uh, mailbag videos just because I don't have the best lights in the lab here in terms of uh, color balancing color balancing just isn't handled as nicely as the NX80 one. And it's got a weird quirk. When you turn on white balance, it disables face tracking. Like, what the? <laughs> it's like, come on, I wanna, like that's exactly what I need for mailbag. I need to fix my uh, white balance, of course. If you, like you get a measurement card out, you actually measure what the uh, color temperature is. You set the manual color temperature in the, in the camera. That's what I've got on my Sony NX80. Uh, here at the moment, I've got a uh, fixed like 5500k color balancing on it and then to have it disable face tracking Which one is one of the most important things I need for my mailbag I can't set a fixed focus on that because it's just dumb because I'm always like going back and forth and showing things to the camera and all that Sort of jazz. So anyway, yeah So this is why I don't use this one as a primary camera even though I love the fact that it uses the interchangeable Lenses. I've got a really wide angle one, uh, the 10 to 18 millimeter uh, for this and the Alpha 60 
uh, 500, uh, 6300 as well. So, yeah, but, it's, you know, it makes a good uh, secondary uh, cam, backup cam. But as I said, like, the mic just isn't as good as, like, dedicated road shotgun mics that I've got. But I do, I, I have actually used, uh, for many years, have actually used uh, this mic in here as the main mic for my mailbag. You just have to get it close enough. You've got to get it within, like, a meter. Anything further than, like, a meter away, nah, it sounds like crap. So it looks like we've broken off a plastic post mounting post in there because you see there's a mounting post with a screw in there. So that's so going to pop out. Yeah, it's gone ski. Anyway, I'll push that back in. And if you just want to see whether or not it's actually conductive, we can do that. Ta-da! There it is. Definitely conductive. <laughs> but sadly, um, that's only like the main body of the camera up here like this, which is fine, um, but it doesn't extend to, as I said, the uh, microphone around here. So uh, this, these plastic ones top and bottom aren't conductive. So yeah, weird that they just stopped there. Now, sadly, the little spigot there that's broken is the one that actually um, is supposed to screw into there like that. So I guess I could maybe get in there and glue it all back together and whatnot or I can just rely on the fact that I could just you just hold it back in there and it won't be the world's most robust thing anyway I I think lots of glue is the answer I think this calls for two-part epoxy now oh, that's super glue rubbish and the good news is we're back there we go two channels I don't care about the other channels I assume they will work as well but like why would you do like this is like a prosumer yeah, like, I'm not going to say it's a professional camera, but it's like, it's designed for the high end, interchangeable lens, big sensor, everything like that. And they put a dicky little VU meter like this on it. Absolutely ridiculous. And this camera actually has no auto auto mic gain either. It's going to got no compressor. Oh, well, it might have a compressor limiter, but there's no auto uh, mic gain in this thing at all. So... Yeah, it, its audio options just aren't nearly as good as, you know, what a uh, professional video blogger would need. So, yeah, that's why, I, one of the reasons I wouldn't use this as a primary camera is it just, just the audio stuff alone just isn't that great. Well, I held that together tight as long as I could, and now I'll just leave it freestanding up like that, and that should be sweet. Although, if I have to, uh, like, take that apart again, yeah, I don't like my chances. And check it out, like I bought one, I've got my audio back, and look at that. Ah, thing of beauty, joy forever. Fantastic. There you go, just a quick simple fix uh, with some epoxy. I'm not going to do anything about the uh, slightly wobbly screen, I'm not that. There we go, it doesn't do that, doesn't fold in anymore, but it's done this before. It's, it's, it's a little thing, little flappy thing down in there, I think that actually broke. That must have broken some time ago, so I, I just get in there and lever it up and that'll close. So, oops, there it is. That's what was inside the hinge there. There's a little spring thing. Looks like a little bit of plastic. Did that shear off or something? I'm not, uh, not entirely sure what happened there. But anyway, these bits fell out and now it, uh, now it closes just fine, of course. Um, so no worries, but it is, as I said, just a little bit loosey-goosey there, but I'm not uh, not fussed about that. Still works a treat, so I don't know what that did exactly. That's just hiding the, uh, there's some flat flex down in there, if you can see it. Yeah, um, it's good enough. It's not my primary camera, and I could probably get in there, uh, take the cover off again and gunk up all like like fully gunk up in there with epoxy and that might make it uh, more robust but it, it actually didn't seem to be that robust before anyway I was not hugely um, impressed by the physical uh, construction of that but yeah you know when it falls like well I don't know it fell off the tripod and uh, went I didn't actually see it land but uh, yeah probably on there like that and just yeah, sheared it right off. So anyway, not terrific. So that was a quick, simple fix and a little mini tear down there inside the uh, Sony uh, Nex VG30 camera. By the way, this I didn't buy this new. I bought this uh, secondhand on eBay without uh, any lenses and it was like really cheap. Even I've had it for like, 
I don't know, four years or something, I think. And uh, I think I only paid like $700 for it or something. And even today, that is like dirt cheap. People still sell, you can still buy this, like it's discontinued, I think. Um, but you can still buy this like brand new in box many uh, places and even secondhand. Um, I could probably still sell it. Well, I can't sell it now because it's been broken. But anyway, um, yeah, I could have sold this uh, for a profit even four years later. So I got it <laughs> pretty darn cheap because I already had the Sony lenses for my next uh, 5T camera. So I've actually got Sony cameras coming out my backside at the moment so yeah <laughs> too many cameras better get out in the field and start using them catch you next time Hello.